Gates open the Ingrid Knot Stakes is underway. Memorial Day weekend at Arapahoe Park was a big one for young jockey Alfredo Triana Jr. The 21-year-old from Toler, Texas won stakes races for both thoroughbreds and quarter horses. First on Saturday in the Ingrid Knot Stakes for thoroughbreds, six furlongs for Colorado bred fillies and mares. The race included former Ingrid Knots winners A.J. Marie from 2015, Fast Pup from 2014, and Sorta Special from 2012. Triana was on the long Longest shot in the field of 11, Super One at 38 to 1 odds. She run big. I didn't think she would handle the distance, but she did. Coming out of there, she hooked up with the six. I kind of didn't like that, but she coming around the three eights, she passed uh, on pretty good, and then she just stayed on and kept on going. And when I got by the quarter pole, when I looked over a little bit, no one was there, so I thought. I had a chance of going all the way. It's Super One trying to spring the upset with Special Task and Lightning Lady trying to mow her down and then comes sort of Special. Sand Hill Lady from last in the Purple Silks trying to get up on the inside. It's Super One with the advantage of 38 to 1. Lightning Lady trying to mow her down. They hit the line and it's Super One with a big upset for Alfredo Triana Jr. in the Ingrid Knot Stakes at huge odds over Lightning Lady and Sand Hill Lady. Then on Sunday, a 9 to 1 up upset in the Dash for Speed bonus challenge for quarter horses at 330 yards aboard the Chris Scandaria train designed to be a winner breaking from the inside. Chris, the trainer, he, she told me she breaks good. She's going to run big and she did and I just sat there and looked good and she ran big race. Here comes designed to be a winner in the Ocean King fighting it out. Designed to be a winner in Alfredo Triana Jr. in a photo with the Ocean King. Photo finish in the Dash for Speed bonus challenge. Then for good measure in Sunday's final race. Here comes the big spoon and Alfredo Triana Jr. swallowing him up. It's the big spoon who goes right on by Lou Who. The big spoon is kicking clear. A great weekend for Alfredo Triana Jr. A quarter horse and thoroughbred stakes win and an exclamation point in the finale. Showing that you can teach an old horse new tricks, Surf and Ski ran in his first ever stakes race at the relatively older age of eight years old. He brought a five race win streak from New Mexico to Colorado and broke from the outside in a field of seven for the Arapaho Park Sprint. Fasten your seatbelts, they're set to go. Gates open the Arapaho Park Sprint is underway. Kuzan in his first start since 2014 is slow to begin. Surf and ski away quickly. Z Smoking Gun comes firing for the early lead. Fast but furious in between that pair in the red, white, and blue. And then Kuzan recovering to fourth. Banker Bob rides the rails in the blue silks in fifth. First five covered by three lengths with a break of three back to Zoom Bag. And I'm a happy strike is last of all as they sprint into the far turn. Z Smoking Gun and Surf and Ski are battling for the lead a length and a half in front of Kuzan, Banker Bob in fourth on the inside, and then Fast But Furious, Zoom Bag, and I'm a Happy Strike. They turn into the home stretch in the Arapaho Park Sprint. Z Smoking Gun with horses surrounding him. Banker Bob starting to get through on the inside. Surf and Ski the outside. Kuzan making a line of four wide open inside the final furlong. Now Surf and Ski puts his best foot forward for Frank Reyes. It's six wins in a row, and the first stake score for the eight-year-old surf and ski over Z Smoking Gun and then Banker Bob. They were all very close together. A tightly run Arapaho Park sprint in 57.53 seconds. Jockey Frank Reyes was riding in Arapaho Park for the first time. Surf and ski started racing at the relatively older age of five years old in 2013. The Arapaho Park sprint was his 10th career win in 26 lifetime starts. A jubilant winner's circle for a horse who, like whiskey, is getting better with age.